All right. Um, I don't know if this has been going or not, but <laughs> apparently, um, I don't think it has. Let me try this all again for you really quick. Uh, I'm here working on my LG refrigerator, the French door, uh, bottom refrigerator, uh, freezer rather. And uh, I've been having the problem where I get ice building up in like thick layers. Now I didn't take a picture because I just decided to do this because I know there's other people frustrated like me um, on the bottom. And then it just seeps out all over the floor everywhere. Well, I called out a repairman. He wanted... Uh, he, he charged me 80 bucks to tell me he can't do anything and tried to tell me to go to Sears and get them to cover it. It was a whole scheme I didn't like. So went online, got some really basic directions on what to do. Um, I knew I had to get in the back there. So what I did was, I'll go really quick for you. Um, you got to take out the center support uh, structures, these long things going across. But to do that, see there's a little tab right here, you got to push in to pull them out. If you have the ice maker, you have a center support right here, which is that thing. In order to get that out, you have to push up on this so these little tabs get above that on these long bars. And then just slide it to the side. It'll drop right out. All right, next thing you got to do is you got to undo the ice maker. Just loosen these up and there's a screw right here that holds the bottom plastic bracket in. Undo that. Um, there's two clips on here. Just pop those off and pull out the plug. Once you do that, you're going to be left with these on on both sides. Well, as you can see, you got to take those two off. So there's two screws here, and then they fit into a notch in the back. So bend them out, and they should pop straight out. Same thing down here. There's three of those. All right. Uh, once you get that, you're going to have your back piece, which is over my shoulder here. Um, you're, all you're going to do is just pop that out and slide it out. It'll come right out. There's another plug. Oh, geez. Oh, uh, yeah, there's another plug right here you have to undo um, in order to get that whole piece off, and that's just what's run, running the fan. I also took off my uh, front drawer so that I could get in here, and that's super easy. Um, there's only three screws. One, I don't know if you can see this, one, two, and then three down here. Do that, pop that right off, and there's that. Okay, that comes off as well. All right, so once you get all that off, you get all this off. You're going to see this in the back there. All right, um, what's clogging up on you is a metal, uh, not a metal, a plug down there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you probably could. Um, there's that plug down there. That's clogged up, giving you this, which was in there. So I just used a hair dryer, and I, uh, I didn't want to use too much heat because I didn't want to damage anything. And I just heated it up until I was able to pry it out with... A scraper, just a little bit of there, and popped it right out. Um, now that I've done that, I have to somehow clear that drain hole um, because it's clogged. So, uh, you know, what I'm reading online is stick a wire wire brush down there, a very small one, like a pipe cleaner. That should do it. Uh, I might pour some hot water down there, see what happens. Um, also, you might want to do a solution of bleach, like 10% bleach and... 90% uh, water just to kill anything that might be in there. Give it a thorough cleaning. Uh, pop your, if you rested it out, like I did, pop your um, coil back in. Uh, just be careful over here. There's some wires and tubing you probably don't want to damage. Um, and it just slides up in the back and hooks in the back. Do that. Put on the back piece. Put on the ice maker. Everything. And you should be good. So that's my quick four-minute video on how to fix your LG French door, bottom freezer, refrigerator. Well, I'm back for another quick segment here. Uh, I've been working on that back, the icing of that tray for a little while now. Um, if yours has gone as long as mine have, you're going to have ice all behind that metal tray, underneath the metal tray, everywhere. So I've just been using my putty knife and carefully inserting and twisting out any of the little ice chips that I can get out. Uh, you know, I might end up just leaving this uh, unplugged for a while because there's no way, I'm, as far as I know, to shut off the freezer and leave the refrigerator running. So, um, I'm just going to leave it unplugged, uh, leave the doors closed, and let it defrost as much as possible. I'm going to keep on working on my hair dryer. That plug down there is solid ice, so um, my minute's almost up, and I'm going to go behind the refrigerator and open up and see if that uh, plug is accessible from the back. That's the next minute. 
All right, folks, we're back. Um, as I said, we were going to move to the back of the fridge. So, as you see, I've moved the fridge out, taken off that lower back panel, put my screws off to the side, and now the next step is charged up my uh, compressor with a uh, blow tip on it, set it at a relatively low, uh, um, low PSI, because I don't want to blow the crap out of this thing. And now I'm just going to go in there, and as you can see, there's a lot of shit back there. So I am going to, excuse the language by the way, going to uh, blow it all out, vacuum clean, especially if you have little animals, like we do, as you can see from the food, they tend to um, shed a lot, and their hair gets in here, and the blades are all gunked up, and so if nothing else, I'm going to clean this, and hopefully it'll help with our tube coming in from the um, freezer. Alright, I'm out. Um, Alright, so we are all uh, air compressor blown out and uh, as you can see it's a little bit cleaner, um, not as much hair back there. Made sure the blades were clean. Um, right here I believe is where our um, I'm trying to feel underneath here, yeah. Right here is the tube that leads up into the freezer. I can't talk today. Up into the freezer. Um, kind of know that because this tube is kind of cold. So I'm actually going to leave off the back. Going to clean the front one more time. I'm going to pour hot water down there. And if I'm correct, it should end up in there. So let's go ahead and do that part. All right, we're back for the last bit of this. Uh, I don't know what do you call it. Uh, day long ordeal. It's only been a day long because I've been going at this on and off. But as you can see in the bottom there is water. That's good. That means my tube is now draining. Um, let's go around to the front and show you really quick here. What I did was, ooh that's nasty, um, that little tube back there goes down about you know, from the tip of my finger to the first knuckle, uh, it only goes down about that far. I just kept on filling that whole tray with hot water and sticking my finger down there, trying to uh, move it around and hurry up the ice melting process. And then, poof, the whole bunch of water went down into the back. And that was it. So now, it's time for reassembly and no more ice at the bottom of your freezer. All right, so we're not exactly done yet. Just a few little reminders. Uh, when putting back in your uh, your rear panel, it just kind of pushes in. Just be careful. Um, you want to make sure that little piece right there um, is out through that hole before you start pushing in. Whoops, forgot to do that. That's why I'm telling you. Um, you want to make sure that when you go to put this in, you put this side in first. Push in that side, pop in the screw last, which I haven't done. Put in that screw after you do that screw over there. Um, when pushing this in, there's four clips. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, just make sure those push in. You know, it feels really tight up against the, um, the evaporator back there, but I'm just, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, these things down here are in. Um, there's a tab there, a tab there, and a tab there that's got to go in. So I'm going to put my screw in now. I'm going to put these back in, then I'll put in the crossbar, then I'll put in uh, the ice maker over here, uh, just hook it on, screw those down, and then I will uh, put in this piece here, put on the door, and be done. Uh, now is a really good time to go ahead and give this, your inside of your freezer, a good cleaning if you haven't done so, um, seeing it's so accessible. Um, just a little note that I just noticed. Uh, seems that LG didn't do a great job down here. Seems to be some rust coming through. I'm sure it's partly because of the buildup I had of ice, but wow, that happened really quick. So, just a heads up. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, I may do one more video just to show you the whole thing put back together. Feel free to contact me uh, if you have any, any questions. Not sure how helpful I can be because this is not my profession. Have a great one. See you later.